show and tell about it. Yeah, this is one of my favorite comics. I mean, first of all, it's the Iron, Iron Fist. The fact that it's number one, that yep. was always a big thing. You know, got to have the first issue. Mm -hmm. um, I love this, Chris, written by Chris Claremont, uh, art by John Byrne. Um, I love I love that blue color. Oh, yeah, it is. That blue, blue with that red, you know, pops out, you know, the yellow. Yeah. Look at the yellow. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom. Oh, yeah. Boom. Uh, you know, the fact that it's, it's Iron Fist. Mm -hmm. And it's very cheesy. Like, let's have him fight Iron Man. Yeah. Iron versus Iron, right? Golden Avenger versus Living Weapon. A duel of iron. So, uh, yeah. This has been one of my favorite comics. Hub, you know that cover? The Gil Kane. He did, like, all the covers during that period, didn't he? Like, almost all of them. Yeah, you know what? They, well, Gil Kane, I think, is probably their best cover artist. Honestly. I mean, I love Kirby. Yeah. But something about, like, doing a cover. like, And he would want to just work on covers. Hey, it's signed. He actually had a... must have been at a creation convention years ago wow but uh i don't know this and is probably not the original issue i mean i don't know if i bought this again maybe it's 10, great it's a great ago. shape yeah that's what i'm thinking it may not be my original but mm -hmm. then again it might be because i bought i probably bought mine used i think but anyway you know what's cool about that hub is the way like you wouldn't really see that in a comic book story i mean the fact he's getting hit he's getting you know like the simultaneous no, no, actions. right, right. But, yeah, but... For a cover, it's perfect. But speaking of... Yeah, you're speaking to Gil Kane to do that because, yeah. like, it's got to be on the newsstand and, okay, why am I going to buy it? Oh, yeah. they're fighting and Iron Man's known for his repulsor ray. Oh, yeah. And he... Yeah, and he's known for his iron fist. And so, <laughs> you're showing both of their main weapons, I guess. And, you know, what's funny, too, is Gil Kane, I think, you know, they would do this for the covers. They were not even following their own kind of logic in a way because... If he's getting hit with the repulsor ray, wouldn't that almost take his head off or something? Yeah. <laughs> you know? And then uh, if you're being knocked out, do you, always, do you say yeah, Iron Man's yeah. knocking me out? But so there is like that uh, incredible art to the cover itself. Yeah, exactly. And Gil Kane really knew how to, uh, how to sell it. Jeez, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Gil Kane, he's not, I, I'm not really partial, I, you know, he's good. But he's not one of my super favorite artists uh, doing, you know, the stories. Yeah, he's not, yeah, same with me. But he's, covers, he's on the top. I really think, like, and again, you, you know, people know if they know me, they know I love Kirby. Yeah. And you think just because it's Kirby's doing the cover or Ditko, but yeah. yeah, Kane had a certain eye where he knew the reader's eye, so he yep. knew what would sell the book. Because mm -hmm. that was his job, he's got to sell the book. One image, only one image, no sequential art, right. just that one solid image. And like you said, if I got to break. My, our own rules about the repulsor ray knocking the guy out. Yeah, or this do or it. That. Do it. Because <laughs> that's why you got to buy the book. Well, does he really knock him out? Yeah, you know, da, yeah. Da, da. You know, it's usual to become friends at the end because it's a Marvel comic. And oh, yeah. And they're cool and everything. That's early uh, John Byrne, too. John Byrne, yeah. John Byrne working on uh, Iron Fist, too. Oh, that was cool, that uh, advertisement. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, look at that. The Hulk. Um, now, who, who drew that, Ted? Is that That's uh, Romita. Yeah, it is Ramita. Johnny Ramita. Is it Ramita inking or Ramita penciled it too? It's I, definitely Ramita ink. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I would think... It's not know, Buse one of the Buscema brothers? I would think that Wendigo looks kind of Ramita-ish. Okay, yeah, I think you're right. I think it's pure Ramita. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Though. Look at it. And the Hulk selling apple pies. <laughs> hey, man. That's, and, you know, uh, Marvel oh, selling their fan club. And look at that. Wouldn't you want to get that? Like, if you had this comic book? Well, I'm gonna. If you wish really hard, <laughs> hey, look, we got it. Wow, the mail is so fast here. American Postal Service, man. Well, oh. talking about favorites, here's another. I mean, no, folks, this is not a. This is not a trick on the video. This is a giant comic book. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this puny comic. Man. Puny comic. Hob smash. Not. In the 70s, 75, Marvel and DC. This is a Marvel book. Put out these. Ah, Super gigantic. Sweet. We should have a little kid holding this because then it'll look bigger in a little tiny hand. But oh man! I mean, look at that. This is a reprint of an old Spider-Man story. That's almost. That's that's not quite the actual size, but it's close, right? It's well, it's closer. I mean, than being shrunk down to this because yeah, yeah. they really worked on pretty large size, actually. Mm -hmm. Even bigger than eleven by seventeen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is uh, beautiful stuff. You buy these at the market. Like this, uh, I oh, I, yeah. Let's see. Here's an original okay. art page. Now, oh, this is uh, this is one I did for uh, wow, look at this. 
This is a pinup I did for a back cover. Colin. Colin Panetta. Panetta. Dead Man Holiday. He wanted me to do the back cover, so I drew this. But, well, okay, Ted found this in the stack there. Um, well, yeah, look at the size difference. Yeah, and then here's here's the original. And the way I understand. Comic book size. Wasn't Ditko and those guys still working on bigger sheets yeah. than this? Yeah, yeah. I've seen an original Ditko. Like yeah, so. But wow. still, I mean, just for a kid, mm -hmm. for a kid to be reading this, hell, even a, a you know, an adult. <sighs> I mean, I know. <laughs> Look at those pages. The freaking Molten Man. Hav, you know, I, I was telling you before uh, we started filming, I I think this is the way Ditko should look, like his artwork. Because I saw, I saw Ditko's artwork first as a kid in a treasury. This was the, really the first time yeah, I saw it. Yeah, that was the first time I saw it. Look at that. Look at the anguish on Doc Ock. Oh, man. You know what? Doesn't that look like Milgram inked it? It does. Because Al it, Milgram in the 80s and 90, 80s, yeah, uh, when he was drawing, a lot of us would say, "Hey, it's very Ditko-ish." Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is, yeah, he really he was influenced by Ditko. I mean, I just realized right there, like, whoa, yeah, that's very. Just look at the way he renders the the water. He had his own, really, his own way. Yeah, yeah. See, Ditko drawing. was one of like again with Kirby. These guys don't run, they don't draw realistic at all. Yeah, I mean, really at all. But they draw. Um, yeah, they have their own language. So yeah, the buildings look a certain way. Yeah, look at the building. That's Ditko building. That's not. Yeah, and when I, if I show you Kirby building, those aren't real buildings. Yeah, yeah. Some of Kirby's landscapes, cityscapes, they look like uh, computer circuits, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not. A, but who cares? I'd rather see what someone can do from their own imagination. Um, you know, more oh. than yeah, these splash um, pages. Wasn't that great? Like that issue, each villain had their own splash page, right? Yeah, he's fighting the Sinister Six. Why is there seven? Four, four, five, six, seven. Why is there seven? But anyway, he's fighting these guys, and each time he fights them, you know, uh, one at a time, he's fighting Boom. Electro. And then there's always that sp sp uh, pin up page, yeah. splash page. And then, yeah, Craven. <sighs> And you know, it's such a great technique. This is my this is my favorite drawing here, Mysterio. That is beautiful. Let's. Uh, let's I mean, I love the close. figures. How, just it's composed. Yeah. You know how Spider Man's cutting into Mysterio's space yep. and Mysterio's arm up there, and then you know they both have intricate patterns. Mm -hmm. Spider Man's web pattern. Mysterio's got the funky design, the gauntlets. Oh yeah, all He's that got texture. The, the checker, yeah. And then look at and then you know we gotta do a cloak, do the big thick. Yep. Uh, Slashes for the cape, and then uh, you got the Ditko swirly smoke. I mean, it's a exercise in uh, composition, texture, and just badassness. And definitely, Ditko, one of his strengths, one of his char uh, you know characteristics was all the texture, like the webbing, Spider Man's design. People that hate costume. drawing that web. I know that costume was so amazing. I know, I know. You know, I wish I could send a copy of this to the guys making the new Spider-Man movie. But uh, <laughs> anyway, I haven't seen much from it, so I'm gonna wait and see how it looks. But yeah, you know, Ditko exercise and just great, you know, original creating your own world mm -hmm. type of. Well, Hav, thanks for uh, taking the time out of your day to show everybody your amazing stuff. Well, yeah. thanks for coming down to the studio, and it was nice to show and tell. Thank you very much, Hav. Uh, where can people find you? Havzilla.com.